Hi, I'm Rob, and in this Gems of War video, I'm going to take a look ahead into the next week and tell you what is going on in the world of Gems of War. Always good to know what is going on, because you may want to save some of your gems for an important event. Something like that. Anyway, I went to a restaurant last night and ordered a bit too much and couldn't quite eat it all. And then the woman came up to me and she said, Do you want a box for your leftovers? I said, No, but I'll wrestle you for them. Har har. Right, anyway, last chance to grab Living Rhyme from the Glory Shop. Pretty cool troop. Haha. -ha. Deals damage to an enemy and there's a 50% chance to freeze all enemies below them. So a pretty effective freeze troop unless you get really unlucky with that 50% chance. So yeah, make sure you grab that if you've not done so already. So starting Monday, we have a new Soul Forge. I'll be doing my Soul Forge video on Monday, telling you what I think are the best weapons and indeed the best troops to craft from there. Also Monday, we get a continuation of the current campaign, of course. Let's take a look at what's going on there. Nothing fantastic in the free pass. Glory keys, some basic keys, some cursed walnuts, some gem keys, meh. Yeah, nothing fantastic in the first paid for pass either. Yeah, you get a book of deeds at the end. That's pretty cool, I suppose. But yeah, this stuff is so easy to get. Just get them done anyway and pick this stuff up effectively for free. Unless you've done the paid for pass where it's not really that free. The main event next week is Raid Boss. It is a guild based event, so make sure you're in a guild to play it. And if you're not in a guild, why not? If you're playing on your own, you are missing out on absolutely stacks of rewards if you're in a decent guild that gets things done. Anyway, Raid Boss next week and we get a chance to grab this new troop, Splintered Golem. I had a splinter once, it eventually got out of hand. Oh, that's his own joke, that's actually quite good, I like that one. Anyway, Dark Slam is the spell, deals magic plus 4 damage to an enemy, and if they're a boss deal 3-5 to five times damage based on your ascensions, and explode 3 web gems. Uses green and purple with a mana cost of 12. The first trait is Slippery, immunity to web, Second one is Bark Skin, reduce damage from skulls by 33%, woof woof. And the third one is God Slayer, of course, deal 3 to 5 times damage versus bosses, based on my ascensions. Monday also means a new Underspire, and I'll be showing you my Underspire team on Monday as well. Hopefully good enough to whiz through the Underspire as quickly as possible, getting all these rooms done, getting to these dead end sentinel troop things with the chest in it, and you're getting nothing again and wondering why you even bothered. And lastly, on Monday, I'll be showing you the epic trials of Zulukari, the team order and strategy I use to hopefully get this done with a minimum of fuss. The kingdom of the week next week is Zulukari, and there's a cool way you can take advantage of this. Right now, the kingdom of the week is Drakzum, so what it means is when you open your event chests, you can only possibly get troops from Drakzum, but on Monday, that will change to Zulukari, and the reason you can take advantage of that is because you can have a look and see if you're missing any troops from that kingdom, then open your event chests knowing you only get troops from that kingdom. So what we'll do here is change that to Zulukari, change that to show all or unowned. I'll just go to show all, apply that filter, and this brings up all the troops from Zulukari. And basically anybody that's greyed out, that means you're missing that troop. So by opening your event chests next week, you stand a chance to get a troop you actually need rather than yet another duplicate. And you can take it one stage further by changing the card name to base rarity. That'll pop the mythics to the top. So if you're missing Arc Proxy Evendra or Arachnian Weaver, both absolutely superb mythics, you have a chance of getting one of those. Good stuff. On Tuesday, we have a faction assault in Eldrazor, so a chance to grab some more shards if you need to, open some more portals if you're missing any troops, get that horde level up if you need to, and do some more delves, getting this towards level 500. On Wednesday, it's pet rescue time, and this is a new pet, so make sure you grab it. Vendra's Tome, its colour is purple, and it gives a single troop bonus to Arc Proxy Avendra, but that is all the information we have on it right now, so a little bit of mystique behind that, but we'll know on Wednesday. And also on Wednesday, it's the continuation of my Faction 500 series, showing how I do every single faction in the Underworld on the hardest level, level 500, using the Factions team. So if you're working on your Underworld still, make sure to check that out, it's a really handy series. On Thursday, it's class trial time, and Orb Reaver is up. Really, really good class, this. One of the really cool ones, this for me. Traits, really, really good. 
Immune to mana burn, mana draining, mana steal is nice, familiar. 35% chance to summon a giant spider when I take damage is really good because it works really well with the other traits at the same time. In the talent trees, if you have haunted weave at the same time, web a random enemy when I summon a troop. That works really well with that last trait. And some other cool things as well, like root trap, really nice. Shadows call, another chance of a summon, which is really good. Tusks aura, quick study, stealthy. Really, really cool. Rising Shadows, 7% chance to assassinate the last enemy when another enemy dies. Really cool class. Make sure you get it to 100. It's one of the good ones. And lastly, on Friday, we have a bounty event. I'll be showing you my bounty team for that on Friday. And we have a new troop at the same time. But this one's got a bit of a mysterious air about it because the, the spell sounds kind of unfinished on Terran's world. But if it's not, then it's going to be very interesting indeed. It's Forest Gremlin. The spell is Thread of Fate, create a fairy fire gem, and deal damage to the last enemy. Doesn't say how much. That's sort of interesting. Is that missing information, or is that actually just a random amount? Very interesting indeed. A lot of mystery about that, and we'll find out on Friday. Anyway, it is the Bounty Hunter troops, so as such will gain 2 to 6 times to the bounty score based on your ascensions. Trait 2 is Song of Nature. Summon a Leaf Storm at the start of battle. And trait 3 is Nature Link. Gain bonus green mana from green gem matches. So there it is. There's the spoilers next week for PC, mobile, Xbox and PlayStation formats. Some of those things can change at a moment's notice, of course. Just mentioning it just in case they do. But there's a video. If you enjoyed it, it'd be really cool if you press that like and subscribe button. It really does help. But most of all, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you again next time. Bye for now.